This is Sam R from SSLcross.com Australia and in this video I am going to be showing you how you can successfully install an SSL certificate on your website through the A2 hosting panel. So let's get started. As you can see we're on the A2 hosting homepage here and we're going to be using cPanel to install our certificate. If we move on to the next tab we can see that this is the domain name that we're looking to secure and if you click on the site lock icon here you will see that uh, the connection to this site is not yet secure and we're gonna make sure it is so we're gonna close this for now and head over to the client area of your A2 hosting account sign in and scroll down to this button here called login to cPanel we're gonna click on that once you click on that you'll be uh, displayed you'll be redirected to the cPanel dashboard and log in with your credentials which are able, available on the same uh, page uh, that before which uh, was the client area you can either click on that button or verify your login so the next thing we're going to do is scroll down to security and click on SSL and TLS and if you're not able to find that you can just come here and search for SSL and click on the SSL and TLS button here. Once you're done with that, we're going to generate a certificate sign-in request. So click on this uh, button here and basically uh, CSR or certificate sign request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority, which in this case is a uh, Sectio or whatever certificate you have which contains all necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So this was a brief introduction to a CSR or a certificate sign request. So now I'm going to show you how you can fill this up. So the key, we're going to generate a new 2048-bit key type in your domain name here with or without the www your domain name.com or whatever it is then the city uh, type in your city here wherever you live your state your country and if you're a company you can type in your company name if you're an individual you can type your name or whatever company division it's like what division are you using this for use something generic as IT email type in your email here scroll down now the passphrase we generally uh, leave this empty but some certificate authorities require you to have a CSR uh, you know passphrase in your CSR you can check with your certificate authority if you need this if you're gonna need this or not but we're gonna not need this now so we're gonna leave this empty description this is just uh, a thing you fill out to remind yourself which uh, like what you're using the certificate sign request for uh, we've already filled out our domain name here so we're gonna leave this empty and click on generate So this is your certificate sign request. So keep this window open once you've successfully generated this. Now we're gonna move on to purchase our certificate. So we're gonna head over to sslcrust.com.au. So and make sure you keep this window open or save this in a notepad file as you're gonna need this later along with your private key which is also stored on in cPanel on your server so once we're here on SSL trust we can head over to some standard SSL certificates or whether you're a business and individual we have lots of certificates available domain validated extended validation organization validation depending on what kind of security and features do you want we also have exclusive certificates available for businesses and you can uh, contact us to help you uh, pick your certificate but for this video we are going to go with the simple SSL certificate and we're going to click on buy SSL 
and we're gonna you can click uh, this is a positive SSL for one year you can click on checkout fill in your details and you can either pay by one of these methods and you can click complete your order once you're done with that you can head over to the dashboard so we have purchased the Sectica positive SSL which is valid for one year and we're going to move on to configure this so click on submit certificate configuration once you do that you'll be taken to the uh, configuration panel of your uh, certificate authority which in this case is Sectigo so now we're gonna paste our CSR here so go back to your uh, this window containing your CSR copy this from the very start to the very end exactly as it is click on copy and paste it here now you can click on verify CSR here and if your details come up just right then we could go so server type we're going to select um, C panel scroll down and click on next step once you're done with that we're going to fill out our admin details fill in your first name and your last name here along with your email address once you're done with that if you have a technical person doing this for you and you're the admin purchasing the certificate then you make sure make sure that you include his or her details here otherwise we're going to use admin details for this video and click on next step now comes the most important part uh, domain control validation so uh, certificate authorities usually need you to verify the ownership of your domain name by one of three methods which I'm gonna elaborate in this video so if you pass this test or domain control validation if you verify domain name then you will be successfully issued with your certificate otherwise um, you're gonna face some problems so the first method or the easiest one you can use is the email verification method so what you can do in this is you should have one of these exact five email addresses and at the rate and like admin at the rate your domain name dot com and one of these five these very extensions the same address and you'll be sent an email containing a link and if you click on that your domain name should be successfully validated the second method is the HTTP file method so you're going to need to navigate to this directory and create a file with this exact name a text file and you will need to input these contents into that file so you can do this via FTP or SSH and once you're done with that you can click on check file here and move on and this should take about uh, a few minutes up to an hour depending on your server speed and the last method or the easiest one that we're going to use is in, in this video is the CNAME validation method so what we're going to do is we're going to update our DNS records either with your domain name provider or your hosting provider wherever your name servers are active or wherever your domain is pointed so we'll, now we're going to head over to cPanel again and now we have no use for the certificate now we're done with that so go to the home page and click on scroll down and click on the DNS zone editor here so we're gonna add our name servers are pointed to the A2 hosting servers so we're gonna create a CNAME record here and the name that we're gonna have is this click on copy copy this exactly as it is and paste it here and the CNAME record the value is this copy this as it is and paste it here and click on add if you hit and ref click on refresh you can see that with Oh, sorry to view your record you're gonna click uh, you're gonna need to click on manage and you can see all your records here if you scroll down 
we can see our CNAME record with this exact name, I'm sorry, this exact name pointing to this value. So now what we can do is head back to the certificate configuration uh, window and we're going to click on check DNS record here. So once you do that and you click on search, so DNS propagation of your CNAME record should take anywhere from your a few minutes up to an hour depending on the speed of your servers and keep coming back here and or you can uh, click refresh every 20 seconds so you can wait a few minutes and depending on your site server speed this records will propagate in a, anywhere from about a few minutes up to an hour so keep coming back here until this is resolved and now for now we can submit our configuration here And this, our configuration was a success. This is our order number. We are awaiting validation, which is the status. And click on Validation Manager, Access Validation Manager. So this is the Validation Manager. Click on Domain Control Validation. Select your method. If it is not done automat automatically, which it uh, most probably will be done automatically. So if not, then click on the method of verification you chose, such as CSR, CNAME, and click on Submit. This is not yet done because our DNS records have not propagated yet. So we're going to wait a few minutes for DNS record to resolve. And you can also, if you lost, you can head back to the dashboard, click on your certificate, and you can access your validation manager from here too. So we're going to wait a few minutes for the DNS uh, records to propagate and we're going to move forward from them. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're back after a few minutes and it looks like our CNM record has propagated and our certificate has been issued, I think. Domain control validation is complete. And so this has propagated in quite a places. So let's close this up and head over to the SSL Trust dashboard click on your certificate and you can now click on collect or download certificate here you'll be taken to a new window which will contain your certificate either text or zip format as you can in many formats you can download this but now what we're going to do is head over to the cPanel dashboard again and click search for SSL TLS click on SSL or TLS here and we're going to generate up we're going to upload our SSL certificate so okay so now we're going to head over to the cPanel dashboard again and search for SSL and TLS click on this button here now scroll down and click on upload SSL certificate we're going to upload our SSL certificate to the our server so now what, what you'll need to do is come back here to your certificate collection tab click on copy to clipboard on the first certificate here go back and paste it here there's no need to write your description and you can save your click on save certificate or you can either click on upload uh, it's the same thing so once you're done with that, we're going to click uh, on install. So this uh, we're going to autofill by certificate. Click on this button here and your private key and your CA bundle file should automatically be filled. And if it's not, and the CA bundle file, uh, the CA bundle certificate is a chain of certificates also called the intermediate certificate which is this one here so if this third uh, dialog box does not autofill you will need to copy and paste your intermediate intermediate certificate here exactly as it is so now we're going to make sure a private key is also autofilled uh, it is generally autofilled but if it's not then you can go back to the SSL uh, SSO option you know, under cPanel and view your private key there. So make sure all these three columns are filled. Uh, the CA bundle file or the intermediate certificate 
improves uh, your compatibility with uh, various browsers so that your users when visitors visit your website you do not get security warnings so it is recommended that you install this certificate too now we're going to click on install certificate so the certificate is being installed and as you can see this SSL certificate has been successfully installed on our domain name so let's check it out now we can type in https colon double slash your domain name dot com slguides.com.au we're good to go our connection to this website is now secure and we've successfully installed an SSL certificate on our website through the A2 hosting panel using cPanel so now what we're going to do is test the installation of the certificate on our server you can go to a website called ssllabs.com and once you do that you can test your server here click here copy and paste sorry copy your domain name and paste it here and click on submit so you're going to need to wait about two minutes for this test to be done so let's wait a bit okay so our test is done and we we have received a rating of a plus for our certificates which is really good our protocol support key exchange cyber strength everything looks good and if you scroll down you can see that uh, everything looks good the latest versions of TLS are available or working and it's pretty much good so that's it for this video so if you were successfully able to install an SSL certificate on your website through the A2 hosting panel with ease please make sure to like this video and if you have any questions let us know in the comments below otherwise See you in the next video and adios for now.